it's unlocked now. We unlock it. What it do, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, your host with the most Verge Beats. And welcome to another episode of The Listening Session. This is episode two, brought to you by GNTV. And we are currently here at The Listening Session for Jamabal James' upcoming album, Remember to Breathe. Oh, I am so excited. I'm so excited to hear this thing. I'm so excited. Jamabal James has been working on this thing for quite some time. And he just walked across the camera. What is he doing? But anyway... <laughs> Uh, he's been working on this thing for quite some time and I'm really excited to hear this. I'm so excited to see the people's reaction. The people are here, the vibes are here. We are at Afro Chicken and the vibes are good. Shout out to Afro for having us here. This would not be possible without them. Yeah. Enjoy with love. Peace love. Chicken. Afro's chicken. You know what I'm saying? We, we out. Yeah. Yeah. Je m'appelle James. Je m'appelle James. Yo, London, I'm sad, I'm getting Johnny. It pulled out your mind, mommy. She ain't even tryna take my money. Yo, London, I'm sad, I'm getting Johnny. She knows when I'm writing about her. Uh. You've been running through my mind, you got stamina. Time after time, you impress me. Oh, you can't have enough. Lalela, me na si si nas fela. Fela, me na si si nas fela. Yo, no mama, with you it's more less drama. Yo, you know what it is. It's your favorite host, the most the verge with the beats, and I'm not alone. I'm joined by a dog. Introduce yourself, the what it one. My name is Anelisa Figueni. It's my snama on the beat. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Hey now, hey now, hey now. I'm Anelisa. Um, I'm gonna go by that name now. Y'all weird. <laughs> so, so yeah, Doug. Yeah. So basically what's gonna happen, I'm just gonna ask you a few questions in relation to like how did the listen session go? What did you find? Let's go. But before I get to that, can I ask you something, Doug? Hey, hey. Hey. Hey, boss, let's see relevant. <laughs> let's be relevant. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. Shout out. Okay, so overall, just like looking back, like how did you find the listening session? I think it was it was besides the speakers and stuff, I think it was very I think this time was more intimate than last year. Last year it was his first time. He wanted to get people there. I think this year he really thought. Okay. Ah. So it was dope. It was really dope. I enjoyed it. Um, it was amazing to hear the growth from where he was musically to where he is now. It's absolutely amazing. It's fire. It's more intimate. And mm. also last year, Sunkiss was like an EP, bro. This was like a whole album. No, like I'm saying, take away I don't think I don't think people are hyping it enough. It's an album, you, you know. know what I'm saying. But mm. I enjoyed it. Your favorite, what was your favorite song or any other song that stuck out to you? The first one, I like. In Her Feelings, I like. Um, there's the one with the guitar. I think you're the one who produced it. The one at the end. That you are a king, my queen. That one. Oh, um, and then there's another one. But the one you produced, the second one that he Love said you produced. You. Oh, the second one. Okay, yeah. Yes, that, was, that, that, was, that one. Yeah, was goddess, the, yeah. That one I liked. Okay. I really liked it. It was different from what he usually does. So it was mm. dope. Yeah. But I feel like this project is more personal about how he feels about certain things. Sunkiss mm. was just like, hey, I make music. I'm an artist, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But now, period. Anyway. But like now it's very, it's very, he's feeling a lot and we feel it straight and that's up, straight good. Up, straight up. Um, mm. Love, love, ah. That one, ah, that ah. one. You got you winding up your waist and stuff. I like it. I like that one. Fire, I fire. Like um, now I feel like right now the perspective is different. This is probably the first person we're sitting down with who's actually had an input into the project musically. Uh, so like listening back to everything that's like been played right now, how do you feel about everything? How do you feel about the album? And yeah. Um, the most, um, the most thing that I'm happy about is the consistency mm. of the tracks from the beginning to the end. It's very cohesive. Yeah, it's easy yeah, to listen fine. to it as a track, like sonically, you know, yeah. because that will always be my um, that will always be like my first my first take, you know, if I listen to the lyrics or anything. You know? So the way you put that together, I think it was beautiful. I couldn't have done 